Hi, welcome back. On this video, I'm going to show you how to extract data out of the Super Global post. Now, we already went and did something very similar when we did the form. But on this video, I'm going to show you an easier way to do it. Well, not an easier way, but a quick way of actually getting some data out of it. Now, we got to go and create. Let's go and do a blank.php. And if I could find one here, there we go. And let's do a save as here. Let's call this the post. Right? Let's call it the post. Even though that has nothing to do. Well, it does have the word post there, but anyway, so I'm just gonna create a imp an input. Let's just create a form there and it's gonna submit to the same page the post. We already did something very similar to this. I'm just kind of doing a recap here and showing you that you don't actually have to have the whole form in order for you to get some data out of it. All right, and let's get this method. Let's make sure that it's post the data. And I'm just gonna do something very simple here. All right, and this is just so you can remember that you don't need, oops, all right. We have a whole bunch of make sure that this there is there so all right so let's have a, just an input here and I'm gonna call this that's fine text is fine and just as a matter of fact the value is gonna be name all right and we're gonna come here and let's do our PHP tags and you're gonna do this very quickly because we already did something very similar so basically what we're doing is just submitting this and getting the value up, up here all right so if we do this here do the super post the super variable super global right here get the name out of it all right and we can do this like this. Let's just go ahead and see this in the browser here. All right, so we have this here. Now we have an undefined name here because we're not getting any data from the form. Uh, we need to make sure that we have, we submit the form and we submit it with a submit button, right? There we go. So now this text here actually we just go ahead and do this and submit it. Object was not found. I requested. Oh, you know what? Of course, it's not found because this file here has the doesn't have the PHP extension. Make sure that that is actually working. All right. So let's submit it again and see what happens. All right. So we still have the same problem here. Let's make sure that we put the PHP extension there and of course it's gonna say this because we haven't submitted the form so this is why you have to write that if if set function there to make sure so you don't get this error here all right and we did that in the form so submit and now you see that you can get some data out of it all right but if you don't do that if you don't click if you don't check if it's submit like we did in the form example then you get this type of warning there because right now what you're doing is you're saying echo this post and when you're saying echo it doesn't find it it says well, where is it well it's right here but we haven't clicked the submit button yet we haven't clicked that when we click it then it goes it goes ahead and pulls that information All right so this is just a very quick way to get in the post data out hopefully this was uh, you know helped you kind of remember how to get data out of the the post and super global here post and um, well that's it that's about it that's a little bit a little recap here hopefully you appreciate it and uh, see you in the next lesson take care